What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Universal Gamer Update E3 edition. Inside this Universal Gamer Update, I'll be giving you guys my gaming news segment, which mainly is talking about the PS Vita and, and uh, the PlayStation 3 and Sony as a whole, and also my gaming rant and game gasm. Now, this year E3 kind of was underwhelming, especially from Nintendo and Microsoft. As far as the third party games through Ubisoft and a couple other developers, they did a brilliant job. But as far as first party development through Nintendo and Microsoft, horrible job. Um, I don't know what the hell they were thinking, especially with Nintendo showing some great ass games on the show floor but not putting it inside their presentation. And Sony, they was bold. You know, I was worried about them if they're that they were not gonna be able to sell no more PS Vitas, they're not gonna be able to have no more fans going towards the PS3 and investing in the PS3 and, and keeping those PS3 fans and stuff like that. That like the console and love the console and love to support Sony from what they're doing and stuff like that. So they got up on stage and they didn't. They cut the bullshit at the door. From the start, they cut the bullshit. They didn't go up there and say, you know, throughout the years, this is what our company been doing. We've been trying to find new ways to. They said, fuck that. We're not going to do all that damn talking. They got right up on stage and said, through the years of E3, you know, people people are going to talk about you depending on what you get on stage and do. When it's your turn, it's your spotlight. People are going to talk about you from year in and year out depending on what you do. If, if you show something bad, they're going to talk about you, or if you show something good, you know, you're going to be noticed and pe people are going to continue to talk about that moment. So I got a handful of things that I've written down from what they announced and stuff like that that I wanted to put inside my gaming news segment. And the first thing is that with PlayStation Plus subscribers out there, we all get free PS3 AAA games. Free. Did I mention that it was free? Little Big Planet 2, Infamous 2, Saints Row 2, Ratchet and Clank All for One, and more where that came from. I went on the PS3 and I went through all the list of the free games. There's already seven or eight free games already. PS3 games. You know, a couple of them are arcades, but you know they're they're well known games. Some of you guys may already have these games, but it's the whole thought process. And then you know some of us don't got these games. Like all those games they got up on there, I only had like two of those games. So right off bat. The new subscribers that subscribe to PlayStation Plus is saving money right off the bat, and then the people that's already been a subscriber to PlayStation Plus is having more from what they already been subscribed to. Next thing I announced is PS1 Classics coming to PS Vita. You know, I've been bitching about that so much. I even got tired of my I got tired of my own bitching about that. That's how much I was bitching about that. And now they say it's finally coming. All the PS1 games you done bought plus more and more are coming to the library of PS3 for you to download on your PS Vita and stuff like that or through the PS Vita stores you can download on your PS Vita so can't wait for that to happen and I've been waiting for that for a while Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified coming to PS Vita I think that's gonna be cool for the uh, fans out there of Call of Duty every time I took my v PS Vita on the road every time I went to a grocery store or anywhere in public with my PS Vita to a park everybody always asks me is Call of Duty on that PS Vita I wouldn't buy a PS Vita until they put like a first person shooter up on there like Call of Duty then I buy one well, here you go. They got it coming up on there. As long as they don't shit on the fans and put this use the title to sell the game and then the game be crappy, as long as they don't do nothing like that, they should have nothing to worry about. Next game, Assassin's Creed Liberation, coming to PS Vita. They announced that it's gonna be you're gonna be able to choose your character, able to have a female assassin for the first time. Um, that's a that's a brave that's uh not brave but that's a clever choice right there. That's a clever uh marketing choice because it's a lot of females out there that love Assassin's Creed. A lot. Alright, so let's move it over to my gaming rant segment. So my gaming rant segment, I want to talk about Death Space 3. Now you guys already know I made a separate video ranting about Death Space 3, so I'm not gonna go on, on and on about that, you know. But I will say this, you know, a lot of people within that video that I made really don't understand why I made the video. I got some comments of people saying that, you know, I'm bitching, you know, stop whining, just don't buy it. You know, it makes sense, and I always tell people, if you don't like something, don't buy it. But it's a thin line between not liking something and being a fan of a franchise and telling that person, then not buy it if you don't like it. You know, let me give you guys an example. I'm good at giving examples. Just call me the example man. Let's give an example. Let's say the Beatles were still alive. And they've been making music all the way from back then, all the way to now. And they coming out with a new album in 2012. And it's supposed to be jumping, and everybody happy with the Beatles. The Beatles have just been knocking records back back and forth, year in and year out, and then they come out with a new album and they got Soulja Boy inside there. They got 
50 Cent inside that motherfucker. They got Eminem inside there. They got Dr. Dre inside of it. And they also doing like R&B. They do, I mean not R&B, but hip hop instead of pop or whatever. They doing hip hop and stuff. It's hip hop music and beats and all that kind of stuff. Wouldn't you be pissed off? Wouldn't you make a fucking rant about that? Yes, you may listen to Dr. Dre by, by, all by himself. Yes, you may listen to uh, fucking Soulja Boy by himself or Eminem or whoever the case may be. But you will not want them mixed in with the fucking with your fucking Beatles, now would you? You would not want to listen to the Beatles with fucking 50 Cent inside that motherfucker or Eminem inside there. No, that would irritate you. It's like me. I love action games. Most of my fucking 70% of my game library is action games. But I do not want that shit mixed up with my fucking survival horror. Don't fuck around with my survival horror. I get pissed off about that shit. So don't mix no fucking action with that. I don't like that shit. Survival horror is survival horror. You know? The mix of both of those two together irritates me. You know? I love action. I love survival horror. Shit, I love Eminem. I love the Beatles. But I don't give a fuck about Eminem and the Beatles doing a fucking album together. Fuck no. Don't mix that shit together. That's irritating. So, you get my point, don't you? Shut the fuck up now. To finish this game and rant off, I want to just say that, you know, just like Resident Evil, you know, the BSAA, the different factions and stuff like that, trying to take control of the fucking, of the, of the fucking DNA and other, of of, of, I don't know what the hell, I, I, I done lost myself inside the fucking Resident Evil story, but I know some kind of, some kind of factions and, and stuff, and nobody don't care about the BSAA and the ACA and the AAA and the AYW, don't care, I know I'm saying it wrong, I know I'm, I'm gonna fuck, I'm just clowning right now, because I don't, don't nobody care about that shit, you can even go watch some of these other professional uh, game journalist podcast and they said the same shit we don't give a fuck about all these different factions trying to take control of this and we don't give a fuck we just want to shoot zombies we want to fucking be scared and shit we want to just play a survival horror game we don't care about that fucking shit shooting all kind of dudes and shit that's the same thing they're doing with death space we don't i don't care about the people that's trying to take over the fucking market i don't care about the motherfuckers put that inside a comic book or something okay so last segment game gasm since i'm so was so underwhelmed from death space 3 gameplay montage or wherever they showed um i'm gonna give you guys my game guys from dead space 2 the opening scene you know that whole first opening part that whole first opening gameplay when you're inside the straight straight jacket and stuff like that that is clever thinking when it comes to gameplay you know you have you're in a straight jacket you have these necromorphs trying to fuck your ass up you, your arms are not free you're just moving around you know so you got to dodge them and stuff like that that's my game gasm. that's been my gaming news segment and my gaming rant i hope you guys enjoyed these videos and yes they're kind of long and, you know, a lot of people complain about it, but this is a video podcast. If you don't watch podcasts on your iPhone, I, uh, Zoom, computer, iPad, smartphone, then obviously you don't like podcasts. So, um, this one appeal to you. And I also got something at the end of this video, so check it out. What are your thoughts? Why, why is there a new well, my thoughts were that I just don't feel like it needs co-op, because I feel like that experience is one that's a lot more pure when it's just yeah. one player. Yeah. Uh, granted, you can still play the game by yourself if you want to, yeah, but there are still it. scenes where there are other people there. It's a it, little more brewish now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, actually, actually, the, the funny thing about that uh, that whole thing is now that Dead Space demo to me looked like Lost Planet. Right. And Lost Planet actually looks kind of more like. You're Dead right. Space. They've actually kind of flip flopped. <laughs>